Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to create a cryptogram puzzle book to sell on Amazon KDP. But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know, here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash the like button, as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not stick around to the end because it's also going to be a dad joke. All right, guys, let's go check it out. Well, first of all, to be able to create a cryptogram, you really do need to be able to have a piece of software or something that can create it for you. So here we are at BookBot. Now, with BookBot, you really do need to be in the pro section of BookBot to be able to create this now I'm just going to quickly go and show you this we we'll go to the pricing section now if you're just going to be doing the standard one you aren't given the option to have the puzzle whiz but if you want to have the puzzle whiz you can choose $199.99 a year or you can choose the monthly one for $19.99 a month which is quite affordable when you think about it. so all we need to do is go over here and we I'm just going to log in to my puzzle whiz and I'll be right back down about to find where that is you go over here to your name you scroll down here to puzzle whiz and you click on that and then you can log in all right so here we are at puzzle whiz now if we go over here to the left hand side you'll have a look here you can see that we're in the tutorial section here and I'd recommend you have a look through here have a look at some of the tutorials they've got you've got the Sudoku I'm not sure exactly what that particular one is, but then you've got crosswords, words, search, hangman, and then you have cryptograms. And this is one we're going to be looking at today, so we're just going to click on that. We'll have a bit of a quick tour of this. To do this, you need to be able to choose whether or not you're going to have bleed or not. I think in this particular case, we're going to keep a bleed. Now, you can also choose the size. It can either be a 5x8, 6x9, or 8.5x11. I think in this case, I'm going to be choosing a 6x9. You can choose to have it as single sided or double sided and I'm going to increase the number of pages to about, well I might make it about 50. And there we have it. Now you can choose a different font. I would recommend, highly recommend you do because you want to make it easier for your readers to be able to read. So I tend to go for something like Camboy because it's a nice plain one to use. Now if you have a look down here, you better notice it says count of census sentences per page depending on the PDF. Size. Now the size, if you have an 8.5 by 11, that allows you to be able to do three puzzles per page. Now if you have a 6, point, 6 by 9 page, which is what we have, it allows us to have four puzzles per page. If you have an 8.5 by 11, that allows you to have six puzzles per page. Now another thing you can do is you can also include, it's got the use random word sentences if the file does not meet the requirements. Include solutions. In this particular case, I'm going to also match puzzles with solution page numbers and also include page numbers to make it easier for my reader to be able to find. Now another thing we're going to be needing to do is to select the example file. We're going to click on, we're going to click on this example file. And what it is, it is a Excel folder or an Excel file, or it's a file that you can download from Google Sheets and Google Sheets allows you to be able to do this as well. So if you were to download Google Sheets, you could definitely use it there. So let's just save this into this area just here. And in just a moment, we'll open this up and we'll have a quick look at what it looks like. There we are, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So as you can see, in this particular case, they only have three per line. They only have three per section. So this, this becomes one page, this becomes page two, this becomes page three. If you want to add more pages, you can do that. Now be aware that it, you don't have to add 50 pages by doing what I'm doing. All you really need to do is just upload it straight into here. But I'm going to be adding a few more pages to this just to show you how it's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I've chosen to go to Google and I've typed in the word famous quotes. 
and this is the place that I went to so it's called HubSpot so we've just gone here and you can choose any one of these in this particular case if life were predictable it would be it would cease to be life and be without flavor that's from Eleanor Roosevelt you can copy that and we can go over to our Excel folder or our Google Sheets folder and then we can just paste that oh hang on no 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 don't do that what we need to do is paste this straight into a I'm glad I remember to do this this is what you need to do is paste that straight into a text document and then you highlight over the top of it and copy it again because it doesn't seem to like that particular format now what we're going to do is leave a space we're going to click on that area just there and then we're going to go control V and that now pastes it right there now you can also choose another one and I would suggest be random with them so that you don't get plagiarized and you can just choose any one of these and you can go this one here always remember that you are absolutely unique just like everyone else Margaret Mead okay you'll just copy that and we'll place that straight into here as well I'm only going to be doing three in total oops you see what I see what happens if you don't do that I'm going to undo what I just did and I forgot to put it back into my area just here so this is why you need to do this I'm glad I made that mistake because now I can show you now I have to do is just copy over the top of that copy that and then we can now place that into here go control V and it will go across for some reason it doesn't like the formatting now let's go here choose another one uh, just choose any one you want it doesn't really matter do not go where the path leads go instead where there is no path and leave a trail okay cool just copy that and of course we'll paste that straight into here next line down and go control V and we now have that one we can copy and put that straight in very very quick very very easy very very simple now all we have to do is go here place that there and that then becomes another page now you don't have to go too many because they actually will do it for you now all you need to do is save that and what we're going to do is go back over here to my puzzle whiz area and then we have to go select file now this is the really important part you click there you select the file and we're just going to click this one here now all we need to do is hit submit and with that we then wait a few minutes until it is ready I'll just pause the video till then okay now it's ready to do so let's have a quick look at this we'll click on that in just a moment it will open up we'll put that into here we'll hit save and then we'll open it when it is ready so we'll just go hit open and it'll open it up here and we can have a quick look at what it looks like so as you can see it's gone the quick and what it's doing is it's giving you a little bit of a, a hint by adding one particular word in there so you know that one two three is the word known so one two three so you know that these letters work out to be the word known so let's scroll down and we we're able to use up to 50 pages which means we have 103 pages in total so we can scroll down have a look and as you can see it is looking very very nice we go down halfway through you'll see we'll find the solutions page there it is this is the solutions page so as you can see you can scroll down have a look at the various things that they've got here and you can see it creates a wonderful book for yourself and of course the, the the more you change it up the more unique it will be and the less chance of having any major issues as long as you do what I just did and that was with the quote I also added who said the quote so Ralph Walden Emerson so you want to make sure you add that to this now I want to make sure I remove any lines because we don't particularly want lines there we might want to remove that line click on that and we will now highlight over this and we'll place it straight in there control V and there we have it highlight over here we can go back over here just scroll across to where you get this just delete that if you wish to it might be just easy if you just do this and then you just 
double click on there, scroll across until you get to where you want to go and remove that line as it will just make it harder. And then you might want to save it and redo it again. It really isn't hard to do. So that is how you have it. So as I said before, this was the in the pro section of $19.99 a month. At, or you could try the newbie, but you won't be able to get the word puzzle area. You won't be able to get the puzzle area in this one. So let me show you, you can't get Puzzle Whiz in the, in the standard version, you can only get it in the Pro. But it's definitely worth looking at when you consider what you get in the Pro. So over here, you not only get all of this stuff, but you also get your Puzzle Whiz, which is really going to help you make some money online. Alright guys, it is now joke time. A man named Jason was visiting his good friend Peter. He looked around the house and he said, Pete, you got a good collection of books here, but you, you kind of need more shelves to be able to keep them in order. Pete looks at him and says, yeah, I know. But the thing is, I can't borrow shelves. <laughs> All right, guys, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this process. Now, over here we have videos that I believe you might like. Down here is a video that YouTube thinks you might like. And over here is a button that you can click if you wish to subscribe. All right, guys. I just want to say thank you so much for watching and bye for now.